valve unit itself. Now this is for the self-leveling uh, part. It's kind of greasy already as you can kind of see. Here's the uh, unit. It's gonna have the uh, air chamber with the nitrogen in one side. Uh, you definitely need to either change this or um, get the whole unit. I would say get the whole unit. It's a little bit more expensive. This was $798 for this, but um, the pump will be making a lot of noise. Uh, I'm talking about the ABC pump will be making a lot of noise, especially because of this. This regulates the pressure um, that comes through and the dampening of this also. So here's what we're replacing. Here we're gonna have some bolts, 10 and a 10 and a 10. Now these are the long ones and this one actually screws into the uh, rubber vibration dampener right here. Okay, so you're gonna have that. Now to get these lines off, there's a another bigger line. That's this one right here. And I can see, show you the bolt. These are 19 and um, you have to replace the gaskets uh, that go inside of this. We got some FCP Euro. Uh, here's the last four digits of those numbers and you need two of them. You need to replace those with. All right, so leave these on before um, trying to loosen up uh, the lines. Now the lines here are gonna be hard as a rock to get off almost impossible, but I have something that helps to get them loose. And just torch it a little teeny bit. It doesn't have to be long. Just make sure you're kind of getting in there. Heat that up just a little bit. And then of course you're gonna to have to take a lot of muscle. <sighs> All right, there we go. Fuck. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna have your three screws that go uh, here. All right, so these are going to go inside of the, the unit and this is going to attach to the rubber uh, vibrator dampener. And then what I'm talking about is it's going to go here and then in the back here you have one right here and one right there. So you can actually take these off so you can kind of see a little bit better so that when you Put it on you want to make sure you line it up uh correctly you got your old one off put your new one on um what you're going to do is don't put those in first don't put the lines in first put the line that goes on the top uh on first okay not get that slightly snug but not too tight um while you have that because you're going to need to adjust it and be able to put the bolt at the bottom and at the top on and line them up correctly so after you have those on nice and tight then you can go ahead and put in the other line so now that you got everything on here make sure you got these nice and snuggy tight 17s then you can go up in the one that's back here that's the 19 make sure that's all good and the last thing you're going to do is just put in your uh, connector plug and uh, plug that in Nice and snuggly. Oh, yeah, I have it backwards. All right. And pop that in. And we are pretty much good to go with the installation. Then you're going to have to make sure to turn it on and then double check to make sure there's no uh, squirting out fluid anywhere. But it shouldn't be if you have the new seals up here and put these in nice and snug.